Right. Getting my turbo put back on here. You recording? Yep. All right. Getting my turbo put back on here. I have a YouTube video on how to do this. If anybody wants to watch that. But uh, get this thing hung back up on here. Get the lines connected back. And uh, I think we're gonna be about ready to put oil in this thing. What do you think? Almost there. It's getting there. Very soon. Very soon. You gonna pour that gear oil on the rockers? Yeah, I'm gonna take my gallon of gear oil and put it all over the rockers up top before we put the rest of the oil in. Anyways, let's do that. Uh, let's finish cooking this thing up. And you know what? It's a 10 millimeter. We need to hook this line in here up too. This is the uh, the new line I just replaced. It goes on the back of the turbo here. That's the oil supply line. We need to clean this fitting up. So let's do that too. Cut. Something to hold this up. Is that a coolant line? Yep, I got one here. I got this guy, it's a 24. I got one down there. So I got this cockamamie idea to put uh, a little 12 volt oil pump to pre-lube my engine before I crank it the first time. Uh, it's not back together. We don't have the coolant circuits finished yet, but we can put oil in the motor. I got all my cool, uh, oil lines, cool lines for the turbo. And I don't see any other open oil lines, so we can, uh, let's try to put some oil in the engine. This is my crazy idea, huh? So I got this little 12 volt pump. It reads 50 PSI on this gauge, just pumping the oil back into the bucket. So I got somebody sitting up in there to call out the oil pressure and I got the key switch on. You ready? Yeah. What do you got? I can hear something. How's the sound of air being squeezed out? Yeah. Oh yeah, I see some oil flowing through the uh, on top of the crosshairs now. Oil? Any pressure? No. Okay, so it's enough to make it flow. I don't have pressure yet. All right, let's give it a, a second and uh, let's bar the engine a little bit by hand. Let's turn the engine over by hand a little bit. We're getting we're getting oil up here now. And we're just gonna turn the engine by hand a little bit. I feel like I'm in a movie theater. <laughs> like a movie theater, huh? Oh. It's a nice truck. Yeah, it's 50 on that. 
60. Let's see, is there any oil flowing up there? Yeah, we got some coming out of the up on top of the crossheads. Alright, feels like our bucket's behind. Alright, bucket's empty. Alright, that's five gallons. Five more gallons? Five more gallons. Yeah, yours only holds ten. Huh? Yours only holds ten gallons. Well, mine holds twelve or thirteen, something like that. I figure we'll put 10 in there and then we'll pour a gallon at gear lube across the top of the motor. You want to use the camera this time and I'll bar it over? Huh? We got what, at least a minute before we got to check it again. Just turn it off. We don't need to report the whole process. Shoulder on it. Huh? You got a metal shoulder on it. Try to put a nut on there and hit him a couple of times. It's getting hot this morning. Ooh, smell it. Smell it. I'm ready to come on. Hey, it's knocking the rust off. Do the right rust off. Yeah. Miracle shit. <laughs> Available at your local Walmart. Yeah, I can put the vet jacket on there. Alright, get them out. Yeah, I'd say they were wore out. Look at them. That one ain't too bad, the other one's real bad. Down there. Look at it. It's perfect in the hole, huh? Yeah, I was. I was measuring up here instead of down there. That's good. You can tell they were out. Yeah, this spider had the right tool for the job, ain't it? That's right. It beat on that thing all day long. Get something to fix that board in the system. Hey, get something. Alright, so I'm going to take you to the wire brush. Do they come with these washers on them? I think so, yeah. They do. They want enough for them. They wanted $300 for a damn set.
up and I'm gonna go. Okay, I got my radiator back on. Put my crossbars back on to hold it in. Got my mouse in the bottom. Starting to put all my hoses back on like we took off. And I've got some new hose clamps here. And I, I'm gonna double up on some of them because I have some spares. And why put the spares in the toolbox when you can just put them on the hose? That way you know where they're at. So I'm just gonna put the spare clamps on the hoses in various places. So they'll do something while they're uh, laying around doing nothing, right? They'll serve a purpose, like backup clamps. So that's what I'm doing. And uh, you know, very soon we're gonna be able to fire this thing up. We're gonna get water in it, pull a vacuum on the, on the cooling system, <coughs> make sure there's no leaks. <coughs> we're gonna pull a vacuum on the cooling system, make sure there's no leaks. And also on the, uh, uh, the AC system, and we'll go from there. Cut.